Ja, hi there, this is uh, TuxOcher.com again. Welcome on my video channel. Today I want to talk about my new monitor, which you see in the background there. But first of all, I want to talk about my old monitor. That was a Dell U2711, a 27-inch monitor which, uh, with a resolution of uh, 2560 by 1440. I owned this monitor for around nine and a half years. And I used to calibrate the monitor with the uh, calorimeter from x Display Pro. And the last times I did that, there was a big difference in the, uh, in the uh, color neut neutrality, meaning that the blue channel especially was driving out the uh, optimal line, as you can see here in the profile as an example. And the uh, second thing was that uh, I usually calibrate my monitors on a brightness of uh, 120 or 140 nits. And uh, the last two or three times the monitor was not able to get this brightness, even though the monitor was uh, surely able to reach this brightness in the past. So with this uh, result, not uh, being neutral or color neutral at least uh, anymore and not getting the right brightness for photography or image processing or uh, post-processing meaning video I had to get myself a new monitor. First of all I bought a ViewSonic 2768A a monitor which was uh, tested by the uh, German po uh, portal Pro point DA, which is uh, a good point or information point if you're searching for a new monitor like this. The monitor was the uh, same size and same resolution as the old one, but of course because it is a newer monitor, it already offered a USB 3.2 hub and a few, of course USB-C connection and a better color neutrality in terms of sRGB range which is uh, or which was determined 100% uh, by the test uh, made on the uh, website. But uh, unfortunately as you can see here on the little video the monitor had an error that means uh, there were uh, tint areas in the um, lower corners of the monitor so I have to send it back to Amazon that was no problem at all and of course I got my money back but then because I so far was uh, had pretty good experiences with the Dell monitors I got myself the Dell U2722DE monitor which is uh, like the other ones the 27 inch monitor with the uh, same resolution that means 2560 by 1440 and uh, also had a USB 3.2 Gen 2 hub and according to the manufacturer there was no test out there according to the manufacturer the um, range or color accuracy is a hundred percent in sRGB mode but of course there was no test and uh, talking about the colors or different colors uh, the monitor according to the manufacturer did 10 bit but there uh, was no information if that was uh, yeah let's call it real 10 bit color or the um, 8 bit plus plus 2 bit from uh, FRC mode but nevertheless, I ordered this uh, monitor and uh, according to the um, Display Pro tool, the calibration didn't have to change anything, uh, just a tiny bit in the blue channel. But uh, according to this, uh, the uh, calibration from the manufacturer was very, very good. The monitor, of course, can be tilted in uh, either portrait or landscape mode and uh, has a monitor stand. The K2 
cable management is not as good, okay, but uh, you have to consider that you have to leave a little bit more on the cable so you can tilt the monitor to uh, port remote and back and forth, of course. On the um, back side of the monitor, you got a whole lot uh, of uh, connectors. That is, besides uh, power, that is USB 3.2 Gen 2 in form of USB-A connectors and in form of USB-C connectors. And uh, so you only have to connect the USB downstream to your PC or desktop. And then all the things, uh, all the USB-C hub connectors are connected to the PC, uh, desktop PC and can be used. There are also two connectors for you, one for USB-C type uh, connectors and the other one for USB-A in the frame and the bezel on the ground so you ha and can easily reach them if you're sitting in front of the monitor. And connecting this to the uh, PC, uh, first I used not the original cable, resulted in a, yeah, I can't say a poor um, transfer rate for external SSD drive. I reached around 460, 480 megabytes. That's uh, still enough to uh, process your videos right away from the external drive, but it wasn't the speed promised by the manufacturer. But uh, then I switched around with the uh, cables and then I installed the original cable provided by Dell and then look at this result. Now the same SSD drive transfers around uh, 830, 850 megabytes per second and that's quite enough for an external USB hub. Of course the USB-C hub if used is uh, still a little bit lost in the transfer rate because if you connect the uh, same uh, external SSD drive to the USB port right away, let's say on the main board, you able to reach 900, 930, 950 megabytes per second transfer rate. And as I mentioned, the monitor provides USB-C connectors and that is also true for one USB-C connector with the power delivery. So I can uh, connect my MacBook Air and since the power delivery delivers up to 90 watts, now my MacBook Air can be charged and heavily used at the same time, let's say with the DaVinci Resolve for video editing. And the nice thing about this, you only have one cable and with this cable, you get uh, the uh, display, the uh, video signal, you get the connection to the external drives, to the USB hub built into the monitor and you got network because the monitor has a connector for a cable network and if you connect this to the USB downstream the monitor will also provide your system with the network connection which is uh, pretty convenient at this time and I use it a lot either with my MacBook and uh, of course with my desktop PC. And another advantage which uh, is pretty convenient in using the this monitor. It also got a audio output, a, a 3.5 millimeter jack for my um, headphones. And now I have don't have to switch the connectors for switching between the desktop PC and the MacBook Air. I just leave it connected to the monitor. And now I can use my headphones as I like with the desktop PC on a Windows system or of course on the MacBook Air. And in uh, terms of uh, color accuracy, as I mentioned, I cal calibrated the monitor right away with the um, iDisplay Pro and here you can see the lines or the profile trigger with the, the um, Display Pro tool and that is uh, pretty close to the ID line. And another thing, as I mentioned, the old monitor didn't uh, get the brightness anymore. Now I get uh, the brightness of 150, 140 nits, sorry. 
and I'm still only in the brightness settings in the monitor on uh, 36, 37 percent. So there is uh, still enough room for further changes in this setting. Okay, that was my little review on the Dell U2722 DE monitor. And if you have any questions, you're welcome to place them in the comments to this uh, videos or in the comments to the corresponding blog post. And if this uh, video was a little bit helpful to you, you might think about placing a like on the video. And I surely would uh, appreciate if you subscribe my channel, but then don't forget to hit the bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. Okay, that was my little review on the Dell monitor and all I have to say, till the next time, ciao, tux oche.